Welcome to a Math is Fun video. Now let's enjoy learning about adding fractions. There are three simple steps to add fractions. Step 1. Make sure the bottom numbers, the denominators, are the same. Step 2. Add the top numbers, the numerators. Put the answer over the denominator. Step 3. Simplify the fraction if needed. Let's take a look at an example. One-fourth plus one-fourth. Step 1. See if the bottom numbers, the denominators, are the same. In this case, they are, so go to step 2. Step 2. Add the top numbers, the numerators, and put the answer over the denominator. One-fourth plus one-fourth equals two-fourths. Step 3. Simplify the fraction. Two-fourths is simpler as one-half. Let's try that again, but with pizza. If I have one-fourth of a pizza and add another fourth, I end up with two-fourths, which is the same as a half a pizza. Another example, one-third plus one-sixth. Step one. The bottom numbers are different. See how the slices are different sizes? If we put the two slices together, they make half a pizza. But we won't always have pizza to help us out. So we need to be able to do it with numbers. The first thing is to make the bottom numbers, the denominators, the same. Hmm. Six is twice as big as three. So to make the bottom numbers the same, we can multiply the top and bottom of the first fraction by two, like this. This is important. You must multiply both top and bottom by the same amount to keep the value of the fraction the same. You see, when we slice the one-third pizza, it becomes two pieces, and each piece is half the size. So we have two-sixths. Now the fractions have the same bottom number, six, and we can go to step two. Step two. Add the top numbers and put them over the same denominator. Two-sixths plus one-sixth equals three-sixths, which looks like this. Step three. Simplify the fraction. Three-sixths equals one-half. In pizza, the whole answer looks like this. Here is a rhyme to help you remember. If adding or subtracting is your aim, the bottom numbers must be the same. Changing bottom, use multiply or divide. But the same to top must be applied. And don't forget to simplify before it's time to say goodbye. Let's take a look at a slightly harder example. One-third plus one-fifth. Again, the bottom numbers are different. The slices are different sizes. But let us try dividing them into smaller sizes that will each be the same. The first fraction. By multiplying the top and bottom by five, we end up with five-fifteenths. The second fraction. By multiplying the top and bottom by three, we end up with three-fifteenths. The bottom numbers are now the same, so we can go ahead and add the top numbers. Five-fifteenths plus three-fifteenths equals eight-fifteenths. The result is already as simple as it can be, so that is the answer, eight-fifteenths. Making the denominators the same. In the previous example, how did we know to cut them into one-fifteenths to make the denominators the same? Well, you can use the common denominator method or the least common denominator method. Both are explained on the Math is Fun website, and you can use whichever you prefer. Here is an example using the common denominator method. You're going to make and sell cupcakes. 
A friend can supply the ingredients if you give them one third of sales, and a market stall costs one fourth of sales. How much is that altogether? We need to add one third and one fourth. First, make the bottom numbers, the denominators, the same. Multiply top and bottom of one third by four, and multiply top and bottom of one fourth by three. Now do the calculations. Answer: Seven twelfths of sales go in ingredients and market costs. Thanks for watching. To see what more you can learn, try the Your Turn questions at the end of MathIsFun.com forward slash fractions underscore addition dot html bye for now